Hi, in this video I'll show you how to compare days data between two years and kind of do, to do this quickly using a pivot table and slicers. So let's say for example we've got uh, this data, it's basically two years of data and we've got quantity of sales, this could be quantity of sales or quantity of uh, items and we've got our day and day of week. And you can see here we can do a comparison between uh, on January, February, March, which day uh, on the first day of that month, which one was doing better. So in addition to maybe the day, maybe we also want to do, let me click into the pivot table, maybe we also want to do the day of the week. So we insert another slicer here and we'll look at day of the week. Click OK and we can take a look at which days of the week on those particular months. Let's clear that filter there. How they compare. Our Sundays uh, in this particular month between this year, 2017 was much better. Mondays in this particular month of February, 2017 was much better. So, and that's some ways that we can do comparison of data to help us with uh, years. Now, this is actually pretty easy to set up. Let's go and create this. Now, I'm going to need to type in date and let's do quantity and date. Let's just start at 1 1 2016. Control enter to stay within that field. I'm going to fill the series down. Go to fill series. It's going to go down to columns. I'll fill it to 12 31 2017. Press enter. And just to check, control down arrow, 12 31 2017. Yep, control up arrow. And now we go back there. For here, I'll just put a random number generator. Random between, I don't know, uh, 99 and 299. Close that, press enter, double click the fill handle, and that will bring in that formula all the way down, control C, and then uh, paste just the values. So it gets rid of that formula and just paste the values there, right? Now what I want to do is, this will be the date, day, this will be the day of week, right? And so the day, to get the day, we just put equals day and click on that, whoops, day, open parentheses, click on that, and also double click the fill handle to bring that down. You can see this is the first, second, third, and you know, if you, we go into another month, that's the first of that month, right? And go back up. So day of the week, it's a different formula. It's gonna be something called text. Text, I'll select this value, and the format text is going to be in quotes, and that's gonna be day of the week, three Ds, one, two, three. And close parentheses, press control, enter to stay in that cell. That's a Friday. Double click the foot handle, bring that down. And we've got our table now that we can populate our pivot table. I'm gonna click anywhere within this, this range. Go to insert, pivot table. Let's put the pivot table in the existing worksheet here. I just put it over there in F5, click OK and let's, let's build it out. So I have date here and quantity. Now I don't want all these dates here, so I'm gonna group them. So I'll click here, right click, and go to group, and we'll group by month and by year. So I just click on years and click okay. And now we have our years and our months. We don't need our years in the rows field, so I'm gonna bring the years up into the columns field. So now we have that. We don't need the grand total. Click on that, right click, and remove grand total and do the same down here. Right click and remove grand total. So we've got our values here. So I can start to add in the slicers. I'll click on the slicer here and have my day of week and the day and click OK. And now I've got my two slicers here. So that can tell me that I, I can do, I can just start doing my comparison, right? Uh, let's say, let's want to, let's configure these slicers. Instead of having one row, let's have the columns multi-column. Whoops, the wrong one. Let's go back to one for, for that one. Press enter, click on this slicer, and let's make it a little bit smaller. So that looks pretty good. And for day of week, maybe, uh, maybe two, three columns is good enough. You can make that smaller, right? So now we can do our comparisons. If we wanted to check out the first day of every first day of January, compared that to 2016 and 2017, we had that comparison. 
We can also look at day of the weeks. How are Wednesdays doing between January 2016 and 2017? We can do that. And or we can also put this into a chart and take a look at it. It's always easier to look at charts. So I can click in the pivot table, go under design, oops, and analyze and go to pivot chart. And I think a column chart probably is fine for now. So I'll just take the default, click OK. Let's close this. And we have our pivot chart that kind of gives us a nice visual representation of our comparisons, right? So we have our 2016 in blue, 2017 in red. And if I wanted to take a look at my comparisons, you can see Sundays. We can see how it charts out in comparison from one year to the other. So there's kind of a quick way that we can use pivot tables and slicers to kind of give us a quick comparison between two sets of data. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.